inserting and building a graph in Microsoft Excel. Now I need to get this information from my Microsoft Word document into my Microsoft Excel document so I can build a graph. F firstly, I would like us to go down to cell A3 and we're going to type in the, the title month. Now for simplicity and speed purposes, today I am going to copy and paste my data in from a pre-built table um, so it can go much quicker. Now, I insert, if we go to A3 and insert and write months, B3 temperature, and C3, this is a really cool feature with Microsoft Excel, but I'm going to put the also the average temperature. And I calculated with using math and a math equation the average temperature for this data set. Okay, now once we have all our information inserted in, a, in each cell, as we kept building the 12 months of the year, as well as the temperatures, and I did it, added up all the numbers, divided by 12, and I got my average temperature. So to insert a graph from the table, from the data, I need to hover over, I need to click cell A3, and then I'm going to highlight the entire selection, the entire set of data. I'm going to go back up to the toolbar and the menu, and I'm going to insert, just like my table in Microsoft Word, I'm going to insert, and now I'm going to look for graphs or charts. And here it is for today, recommended. I want to use a line graph today. I'm talking about the weather. So I'm going to choose, and here we go. Look at this beautiful graph that was just created from Microsoft Excel. Now I can choose different styles of graph, change chart types. If I was also interested in building a column graph, I could select a column graph, and there's my averages, and there are my temperatures. Uh, I have labels. Um, for, for now, I would like to build a line graph, and I'm going to choose the line over here, and I'm going to select. And um, also another important element of building graphs are labels and titles. So if we look at the, the next drop-down menu, Add Chart Elements, I would like to add axes labels. Uh, on my vertical axes, I would like to insert a title. I would like to call this temperature. I have a legend on the bottom of the screen. What I love about Microsoft Excel is that it's showing us the average temperature across the bottom, uh, across the orange line. I need a nice chart title. Um, I'm going to call this temperatures in North Bay, Ontario. I have another label, months. Uh, let's add another label to the horizontal axes. I'm going to call this months. And again, we can edit um, the fonts. We can make them bigger and smaller. Uh, we can stretch it out. Um, there's so many nice things you can do and edit and, and um, play around with um, in Microsoft Excel, just like in Microsoft Word. And another great feature is I can select my graph. I can copy the graph and then I can go back over to my Microsoft Word document where I want to place my graph and I can make it nice and big and I can paste the graph into my Microsoft Word document. I can um, edit it from here and what a fantastic program Microsoft Word building tables and Microsoft Excel building graphs. Uh, fantastic for the students to learn. Hope everyone enjoyed.